ஹம்சவாகினி ரவிச்சந்திரனுடைய முதல் பரதநாட்டிய அரங்கேற்ற விழா இந்த நிகழ்ச்சிக்கு எல்லாரையும் வருக வருக என அன்போடும் சந்தோஷத்தோடையும் வரவேற்கிறேன் So, I would like to welcome and invite all of you for this Bharatanatya Arangetran of Kumari Hamsavahini Ravichandran, uh, disciple of Natyacharya Madhura Meenakshi Srinivas. So, taking the blessings of Lord Ganesha, we will start the program henceforth with the Vandana. Shri Ganesha Charanam
Vandanam is actually welcoming whoever is there to see the Bharatanatya Arangetram and Alaripu is again invocating the God, the Guru and the audience which is you esteem today. Let us all pray together and give our blessings to the child who is performing this beautiful art form today. She is announcing to the world that she is there as a dancer entering the Bharatanatyam field. Please give her a round of applause and going forward to the next
Thank you so much. That was an amazing performance. Next, we are going to the performance of Jati Swaram. All music aficionados would know about Swara Jatis, which is actually a Sahityam. Unlike that, Jati Swaram is actually a combination of Thalam and uh, Swara patterns to exhibit the footwork and the Thalam Jnana of the dancer. And it actually contains uh, Solkatta usages. Uh, instead of Padam or words, it's only Swarams in Jati Swaram. It varies in length. Usually, it's a combination of increasing fashion and a different talalayam. This particular Chatiswaram she's going to perform today is in the Ragam Vasanta in Rupaka Talam. And it's one of the most beautiful pieces of pure dance. Imagine uh, water coming down a mountain, like a beautiful, it's a beautiful stream or a waterfall. That's the aspect of dance she's going to show. It's going to be a combination of music, rhythm and moments. So
dance program music is very important and our orchestra consists of our esteemed guru choreography vocal and natyangam by shrimati madhuri meenakshi shrinivas and we have shri uh, shri shrini kumar on mridangam and shri ramesh and ep on violin and shri vivek r shanoy on flute please give them a big hand ladies and gentlemen this program cannot be successful without the beautiful beautiful musical backup without them The next piece we are going to do is a varnam. Varnam is the longest piece of any musical uh, presentation, especially an arangetram. It's the longest and the hardest, which comprises of different aspects of dance, like thalam, layam, and bhavas, and different poses, expressions. Also, in this particular varnam, there is a story behind the varnam, where Lord Muruga. the devotee who is in love with lord murga wants to see him and she is evoking him asking his 
her friend if lord muruga will come to see her but unfortunately lord muruga would never turn up at the end and she gets angry and this drama which goes in is depicted by our kumari hamsa she is depicting the story of lord muruga and the kartikeya pengal stories of how lord muruga became arumuga and also how lord muruga took the shakti veil taking the veil from the shakti and the process is explained beautifully in dance form going forward we would be seeing the navarasas being depicted in this varnam
Yeah, 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 yeah
Oh, uh-huh. 
piece in any dance uh, recital. Thank you so much ma'am, that was a lovely recitation. And if you re realize it was almost 40 minutes to do step by step and all the expressions, it was beautiful. What she was depicting on stage was uh, Shringara Rasa, where she is talking to her friend, like I said earlier. She is talking to her friend and she is talking to her friend and she is asking what happened, where is Lord Muruga, please ask him to come. And she is ஒரு <laughs> It's very beautiful and the expressions and so much, it requires so much of stamina and energy to do an entire uh, Varnam for 35-40 minutes. It's not an easy task. Please give her a big round of applause and also the uh, musicians who have been relentlessly practicing every day for this. Uh, we will move forward with uh, felicitations. So we're going to arrange the stage and invite our chief guest for the felicitation. Thank you so much everyone. Shri Shilpamad, who is exemplifies an exceptional leadership qualities in various aspects of his life. As Vice President of Finance in Emirates Airlines, he demonstrates strong strategic thinking, decision-making skills, and a key eye for financial management, contributing significantly to the success and growth of the airline over his 35-year tenure. Shri Shilpamad is a devout Krishna Bhakta Taking the legacy from his grandfather, he follows spiritualism very intently. Shiva Kumar founded the ISKCON Dubai at his youth 
he contributed his time to support his father shri le mahamani krishna dasa to build a spiritual community his mother paripurna mata ji equally helped in the growth of a congregation and as a founding member of hari krishna iskon in dubai underscores his relationship in nurturing and expanding the congregation he showcases visionary leadership guiding and inspiring many families towards spiritual growth and community development at the inception it was a great group of few families and today the community has developed into few thousands of krishna devotees coming from different walks of life and nationalities his ability to lead by example coupled with his humility and devotion has earned him the respect and admiration of his peers and followers alike shri shubhumar ji is addressed as shri vallabhadhasa after taking diksha from his spiritual guru his holiness jayapataka swami swami ji is a senior and prominent disciple of founder acharya of iskon Srila Prabhupada Sri Vallabhadasa Prabhu Sri Vallabhadasa's dedication to the teachings of Srila Prabhupada expertise to teach the Vedic scriptures coupled with his ability to organize and execute large scale events and programs this reflects his commitment to foster a vibrant and inclusive spiritual environment in his personal life Prabhu Sri Shiv Kumar's partnership with his wife Mata Ji Sri Sita Charu Devi his children and his brother are committed likewise to serve a devotional path the entire family is the quintessence of devotion and a great inspiration for others within the community overall Prabhu Sri Shiv Kumar embodies qualities of integrity vision compassion and dedication making him a respected leader both within the corporate world and the spiritual community please give our chief guest a big round of applause ladies and gentlemen prabhu shri vallabhadasa and his uh, saga padmini shrimati sita charu mata ji thank you so much for having you here today with us sir and gracing this beautiful occasion as we all know for a disciple to perform perfectly to the t we need an exemplary guru who can guide who can share their knowledge who understands our pros and cons and takes us to the next level we have kumari hamsavahini ravichandran's guru shrimati madhura meenakshi shrinivas who is the managing director and chief faculty of swaralaya dance company dubai please give her a big round of applause uh, ladies and gentlemen this is her 19th student who is successfully completed her arangetram shrimati madhura meenakshi shrinivas had her initial bharatanatyam training from padma shri adyar k lakshmanan sir and continued her dance lessons under kalakshetra mohan sir her early music coaching was given by professor lalita panchanathan and she later continued her studies with professors bala saraswati selam chellam ayankar and dr pashupati Swaralaya Dubai has been a very well known and successful traditional fine art school for the past 20 years with an emphasis on bharatanatyam and carnatic vocal music training nearly 250 students are taking classes with shrimati madhura meenakshi over the last 20 years and still she has many students under her tutelage in addition to the last 19 who have performed as i said earlier it's not easy just to become a student and to be a guru that is a totally different um, level you have to contribute you have to be one with the child who's performing please give her a big round of applause if she is the she is the backbone of this program if not for her program in the in the nigalchi adutha adutha tarunathuk eduthu porathuk munadi nammudaiya ஹம்சவாகினியோடைய மரியாதைக்குரிய தந்தை திரு ரவிச்சந்திரன் வெங்கடகிருஷ்ணன் அவர்களை திருமதி பத்மபிரியா ரவிச்சந்திரன் அவர்களையும் மேடைக்கு அன்போடு வரவேற்கிறேன் நம்முடைய சீஃப் கேஸ் அதாவது முக்கிய விருந்தினர்களுக்கு பொன்னாடை போர்த்தி அவங்களை கௌரவப்படுத்தபடி 
நம்மளுடைய பழைய பாரம்பரியப்படி பொன்னாடை போத்தி அவங்களை கௌரவப்படுத்துறது நம்மளோட பாரம்பரியம் பட்டு பீதாம்பரம் பட்டு பீதாம்பரமா நினைச்சுக்கோங்க இந்த பொன்னாடைய பிளீஸ் கிவ் தம் அப் கிரவுண்ட் ஆஃப் அப்ளாஸ் இது எல்லாமே எல்லாமே இது வந்து ஐ திங்க் தெய்வ சங்கல்பம்னு சொல்வா இல்லையா தெய்வ சங்கல்பம் தான் கண்டிப்பா இந்த பரதநாட்டிய அரங்கேற்றம் நடக்கணும் இவா தான் அதோட முக்கிய அதிதிகளா வரணும் அண்ட் இந்த குரு கீழே தான் அரங்கேற்றம் நடக்கணும் அப்படின்றது வந்து தெய்வ சங்கல்பம் தான் அதுதான் பிராப்தம் எல்லாமே நேரம் காலம் எல்லாம் சேர்ந்து வரணும் சேர்ந்து இன்னைக்கு தான் வந்திருக்கு அவளுடைய முதல் அடி கலை உலகத்திலையும் இந்த நாட்டிய அரங்கிலும் நான் இருக்கேன் அப்படின்னு காட்டுறதுக்கான முதல் அடி இட்ஸ் அ ஸ்டெப்பிங் ஸ்டோன் ஃபார் சோ மெனி ஃபியூச்சர் ஸ்டோன்ஸ் டு கம் டு சோ மச் டு அக்கம்ப்ளிஷ் அண்டர் ஹர் அண்டர் த ஏபிள் கைடன்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஹர் குரு ஸ்ரீமதி மதுர மீனாட்சி we are blessing hoping rooting for hamsa that she will reach higher heights gain more knowledge and become such a popular dancers endha kalaiya irukume theva kadasila panam illa kai tattulum appreciation unda so adile endha kanjathanamum kaatadinga namm or tar perform pandrom appadina ellarume edirpaarkiradha dhaan nammala paakkaraala namm pandrathu rasikkaraala அடுத்தது என்ன பண்ணலாம் புதுசா அப்படின்றது தான் என்னைக்குமே ஒரு ஆர்டிஸ்டோட ஒரு மனசுல ஓடின்றே இருக்கிற ஒரு விஷயம் எல்லா கலைஞர்களுக்கும் பொன்னாடை பொறுத்துற அண்ட் இந்த இந்த இது இந்த நிகழ்ச்சி இவ்வளவு சூப்பரா வந்ததுக்கு திருமதி பத்மபிரியா ரவிச்சந்திரனுக்கும் திரு திரு ரவிச்சந்திரன் வெங்கடகிருஷ்ணன் சாருக்கும் கண்டிப்பா நம்ம வந்து ஒரு கைத்தட்டில் கடைசியா கண்டிப்பா கொடுத்தே ஆகணும் ஏன்னா அவங்க இல்லைன்னா இவ்வளோ பர்ஃபெக்டாக எல்லாத்தையும் வந்து டிஃபன் காஃபிலேருந்து எல்லா எல்லா கெஸ்ட்டுக்காகவும் அரேஞ்ச் பண்ணியிருக்கா ஸோ எந்த அளவுக்கு அவள் வந்து யோசிக்கிறான் அப்படின்றது நமக்கு தெரியும் ஸ்ரீனி கண்ணூர் சார் ஹீ இஸ் ஆல்சோ வெரி பேஷனேட் மெம்பர் ஆஃப் ஸ்வரலையா டான்ஸ் கம்பெனி துபாய் ஈ சார் டு லேர்ன் மிருதங்கம் ஃப்ரம் அண்டர் பையனூர் சுஷீலன் சார் அண்ட் தென் கண்டினியூ டு ப்ராக்டிஸ் அண்டர் த சூப்பர் விஷன் ஆஃப் சுந்தரன் கலாக்ஷேத்ரா மிஸ் ஸ்ரீனி ஹேஸ் ஆல்சோ ஒர்க் அட் ஸ்வரலையா துபாய் ஃபார் த லாஸ்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி இயர்ஸ் He is an integral component of each student's Arangetram's journey, serving as a moral and complete support in their initial stages by assisting via rhythm and practice sessions. Furthermore, he demonstrates proficiency in a variety of other percussion instruments, including African drums. He has performed in a number of major performances in the GCC countries and India. And this also applies to his participation in the massive Dubai World Expo 2020 along with worldwide Arangetram's accepted and renowned artists please give them a big uh, uh, applause it's not easy to perform and be and be recognized also we have shri ramesh kitty kurusi mangalam who is an eminent violinist who has been performing teaching and promoting indian classical music for the past 35 years hailing from a traditional musical family he started learning carnatic music from his mother shrimati ms sangam He was introduced to the art of violin by his maternal uncle Sri Radha Krishnan. Sri Ramesh has advanced training under late Sri Pariyanarut Parasurama Iyer and Ra- Raga Ratnam Sri Nedumangad Sri Vananda. He is a graded artist of All India Radio and has credibly accompanied many leading artists. He has also rendered a number of solo performances, carved a niche for himself and gained exemplary fame to his name all over the country. His music represents the purest vocal style expressions of Carnatic music tradition. He is a very well-known artist for his teaching skill and has a large number of students who have taken up music seriously and are regularly performing in and around Kerala and Dubai. Please give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Last but not the least, we have with us Mr. Vivekan, Vivekanandan Ravindranadan Shanoi. In short, he is fondly called as Vivek Shanoi. He was born in a family of music lovers. He started his music lessons from his father, Sri Late Ravindranath Ashanoy. His first guru in classical flute was Late Chetala Kevi Janardhan Poti. He had his Arangetram in the year 1987. He had his advanced learning in music from violin maestro Sri Nedumangad Shivanandam. He was prize winner in many youth festivals in school and university level. 
He is a postgraduate student in music at the University of Kerala and he is a graded artist of AAR Vishu. Presently, he is learning music under the tutelage of Sri Maveli Karati Subramanyam and he has a long expertise in providing orchestra flute music for Indian classical dance forms like Mohini Atam, Bharatanatyam, Kuchipudi and all the other art forms. Thank you so much for being here with us on this blessed day. Uh, we would like to request the chief guest to please say a few words. So, Namaskaram to every one of you. Om Akhyana Timirandasya, Yana Anjana Shalakya, Shakshuram Mili Tamena, Tasmai Shri Guravena Mala. So, it's an honor for me to be here today uh, to witness this wonderful dance. There are so many forms of bhakti, and I think and the Navarasas as we talk about. And dance is such a very, very important way of showing your bhakti to the Lord. And dance, when it's done with this wonderful practice under the tutelage of the wonderful gurus who have dedicated their lives in this service, Srimati Madhura Iminakshi Srinivasanji, and the entire troupe with that light, live music that's there. And uh, I think it's, it's something that's so nice to see. Totally just be relaxed, watch just the various moments and the various Navarasas that the artist, the dancer is bringing forward. But then this is all done to please the Supreme Personality of God, to please the Lord. That is the consciousness with which every one of them are performing and the dancer is performing too. So, this is definitely one of the very important ways of bhakti to the Lord and I hope Hamsavahini. I remember meeting her more than a decade ago and we talked of Lupt Hamsa. I said, what is Hamsa? And I, the name definitely sticks on to me. And uh, to see her bloom into such a wonderful artist, such a wonderful person who is dedicated I would say years and definitely for the Arangetram, months and months of effort to be where she is. I was talking to her parents a few days ago and I learned that the amount of practice she does every day, the number of hours to just sustain the stamina of 40 minutes, one short session and practically with no gaps, just a, almost a two, two and a half hour program is just very, very unique. That shows the determination of not just the girl, Hamsavahini, who has practiced and is determined to come and succeed and offer this to the Lord, as well as I'm sure, offer it to her parents. And I think many times in the modern day and age, when the children study, the parents are more stressed than the children. So I'm sure Srimati Padma Priyaji and Ravi Chandranji, and of course, also flown in, I forget your name though, uh, Shreyas, also coming in all the way from Germany to uh, witness and support his sister. And I think we all need to learn to dance. I don't think we can really dance like them. But if we learn to dance to the tunes of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, I think our life is fulfilled. We want to make others dance to our tunes. That's the problem. We want to lord it over this whole world. But if we learn how to let go, how to be devotionally inclined, do everything that you do, may it be dance, may it be music, may it be your studies, may it be work. If we do it all as an offering to the Lord, Sarva Dharman Parityajya, Maam Ekam Sharam Raja, Aham Tvam Sarva Pape Bhyo Moksha Shyami Ma Suchaha. So if we are able to do that, inculcate these wonderful cultural aspects in the lives of the children, encourage them to continue it right through their lives. Every time my wife comes to the dance program, she says, I miss being a dancer. So I said, don't wait until you have to take birth again to fulfill this particular, their teachers are still around, you can still dance, you still look young and beautiful. So continue to dance please and I think all of us will have to do this in our life and offer this to the Supreme Personality of God. We have this wonderful Vigraha of Nataraja and he's one of the greatest of dancers. We also know 
of Lord Shri Krishna, who is an amazing dancer. As well, he danced on top of, you know, the Kaliya, the Kaliya Nardana. And besides, we, the Hare Krishna devotees, are followers of the Gauranga Mahaprabhu, the Lord Chaitanya, who is also called a Natabara. He is also a dancer. He is constantly dancing the glories of the Lord. So all of us, whether we may not be that very astute in the steps, we all need to just lighten ourselves by dancing. And let's not look at dancing for Zumba and Bollywood. Definitely we need to understand the culture and see what we need to. And I think these forms of art and music is yoga, is pranayama, it is exercises. It brings about everything and it gives a, a full surrender to the Supreme Lord. So thanking uh, Hamsavahini, thanking their parents, thanking teachers. I just wanted to uh, take a minute to give a gift. I know I'll give it to the parents on behalf of Hamsavahini today. So this is a very, very beautiful Krishna art book. It's got amazing paintings of the Hare Krishna moment made over the last 50 years, I would say, by artists of repute internationally. All the Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam books of Hare Krishna contain amazing art by just seeing the picture. I'm sure this is a gift for Hamsa Vahini because she has shown the Shringara Rasa today by seeing all these pictures, I'm sure she's going to emulate and try and perform all of these dance moves in her future or in her future dance events and the parents can definitely help them. I would request my wife to hand it over to them, please. Thank you. Thank you. picture, because every picture tells the story of Srimad Bhagavatam and every time I ask people, do you have a Bhagavad Gita with you? We just remember that Narendra Modi ji was here in Abu Dhabi yesterday. He is very proudly going and distributing Bhagavad Gita to anybody and everybody he sees. So introspect, do you have Bhagavad Gita? Don't pack it and keep it, also read it, but also see the beautiful pictures and read Srimad Bhagavatam. Thank you very much. Namaskar. Namaskaram. Thank you so much, sir. That was a very beautiful and thoughtful gift. Uh, like uh, you mentioned, sir, correctly mentioned, all our art forms, especially the Indian art forms, is not just targeting physical or mental. It affects us emotionally and spiritually. And it uh, lets us evolve as good human beings at the end of the life and makes us realize that one, the answer to the question, why are we here? What is the purpose of our life? Thank you so much for that, sir. Thank you so much, Mataji. And I would request uh, Prabhu Nandakumarji, uh, the parents are requesting you to come on stage and say a few words. And Mrs. Nandakumar also, please. <laughs> to all, oh no, uh, he is actually the brother of Prabhuji. Namaste to everybody. We've had a long, fantastic session. I don't want to hold you. I was thinking of the Navarasas, and we experience Navarasas as part of our own life. There are times we are happy, there are times we are sad, there are some things that astound us, we are astonished. All the Navarasas we experience. When we experience those rasas, come along with those experiences of various, the actual emotion hits us. But when you see Navarasa experienced and um, sort of uh, uh, shown as part of such a beautiful dance and theme, there is only one rasa that you experience. Yes, that is Bhakti rasa. You experience the beauty of the pastimes that are being depicted and through that beauty there is bhakti you you are astounded by how beautifully she is expressing it so there is a limitation there yes she she is ex, ex, uh, showing us bhayanaka that she is frightened but that's also beautiful for us we enjoy that this is the beauty of enjoying these navarasas in connection with the Lord and his pastimes. Thank you very much. Namaste. Um, I would like to uh, request Sita Charumataji to also say a few words. 
நமஸ்காரம் எல்லாருக்கும் நிறைய பேர் ரொம்ப சீரியஸாக பேசுகிறா இந்த மாதிரி பக்தி அப்படின்னு நந்தகுமார் பிரபு அவர் சொன்ன அந்த பக்தி ரசம்ன்றது ஐ ஹோப் டேமில் இஸ் ஓகே டு ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ ஹவு மெனி ஆஃப் யூ டு நாட் நோ டேமில் ஓகே தென் இட்ஸ் பெட்டர் ஐ கோ இங்கிலீஷ் so the bhakti rasa comes through the dance how the dancer emotes herself the narratives the different past times of specifically in most of the dances we can see there's a past time of radha and krishna leela leela so many times i just thought let me gently quickly tell you a story how this dance as a beautiful part of the culture as a beautiful part of how you can share your emotions and love yesterday was valentine's day that's why we are dressed in red <laughs> to represent <laughs> so radha and krishna once upon a time they were just having their own wonderful sweet pastimes in govardhana hill so the sky was so beautiful as though it was going to rain just as how it rained a few days ago in dubai so what happens when the rain comes the peacocks starts to dance at that moment the peacocks in the govardhana hill were dancing and radharani was thinking about krishna where is krishna where is krishna and she saw the peacocks and she was so admired and she got so attracted to see the beautiful peacocks dancing she was so engrossed she forgot about krishna for the few moments and krishna came and saw hey you are more attracted to that beautiful that peacocks i can dance better than the peacocks and so krishna starts to dance such beautiful step intricate footwork so much of emotions and the clouds and the rains and the beautiful breeze were giving like pakavadyam this wonderful people like natvangam and the flute flautist and the violinist and the mridangam the nature was playing this beautiful orchestra radharani said hey krishna you're dancing well but i think the peacocks are dancing better than you krishna got so jealous how can i be not more attractive to shrimati radhani she is my attraction i should always be the best for her and she started to dance even more again just to enthuse krishna to dance better and more and to be more attracted towards the lord radharani said you are dancing so well you are the lord of the dancers you are that natuvar but i think the peacocks are dancing better than you krishna gets so angry i cannot imagine this come on radharani you show me some steps let you make you dance why don't you dance and radharani starts to dance and the peacocks were dancing just in the background like in the cinema you see the heroine is in the front and all the other dancers at the back and krishna was so engrossed radharani was so engrossed in the dance and krishna started to move along the steps of radharani and there was a beautiful jugal bandhi happening between radha and krishna the way they were sharing their emotions their love and the beautiful step the intricate steps so the entire nature was in a, 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 you know as a big orchest- orchestrated their dance and which is such a beautiful show that was happening among the peacocks the peacocks stopped dancing and they got engrossed in the beautiful dances of shri krishna and radha so this is how we all emote those beautiful past times of these wonderful story the legendary stories it's not a myth it is the truth and that's how we have such wonderful gurus who impart this knowledge to their uh, upcoming art artists you no know, recognize the beauty talent in them and bring out this bhakti bhava with this i like to conclude thank you so much ma'am that was a very beautiful story isn't it we all want to listen to stories and i would request uh, mrs yeah so mata ji to please say a few words i think i am uh, super awestruck today to see uh, hamsavahini dance so beautifully um i've never been to an arangetram ever before this is the first time i've ever been to an arangetram and i am really awestruck because it's not an easy thing for someone to dance for this long and especially the last varnam that they talked about is about 35 to 40 minutes after she finished the first two uh, set of dances i was really feeling how is this child dancing for so long how has she got this much energy to go on and on and with that smile on the face every time she is slowing down i'm seeing she is taking that hard breath 
to actually come back to the next step. I'm just praying. I hope this girl goes on and finishes it peacefully. I think that that was the pressure I was under throughout this whole dance. But it was so graceful, so beautiful, and every uh, um, expression that she had for the Navarasas or the prior ones, she was mind blowing. I really am awestruck with Amsvahini's performance today, and uh, I'm so grateful. Uh, that Padma called us for this, invited us for this event, and I am uh, really wanting to thank the guru who brought this out of, you know, a student. Uh, so I was just telling my husband today we are married for 26 years. He never knew I learned Bharatnatyam. Today I told him that I learned for one year, and my teacher said she has to do Arangetram. My father said, "What? In one year, who does Arangetram? No, no, is not a good teacher. Stop dancing." And that's it. I never went back to those days. Today, I, you know, I live back those days and I'm just thinking, wow, Hamsa is just amazing. You know, I'm ending this with a prayer from the depth of my heart that the, art, the artist that she is today, uh, I pray that she flourishes more and more and uh, becomes a great dancer because she has it in her. Uh, so that's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much. Really appreciating the parents who's put a lot of hard work. Ha Padma is an amazing planner, you know, so um, really thankful. Amazing. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for the lovely, encouraging and uh, beautiful words. Uh, it is truly a blessing, like uh, Madhaji said, let us all pray and give our best of luck to the child who is performing today. It is, the show is not yet over, picture abhi baaki hai. So we have another, uh, one more portion coming after the short break. She is in, while we are talking, she is actually preparing for the second act with the dress change and everything else, with new makeup, fresh makeup and dress change. Um, I had the opportunity to sit during her rehearsal and I saw what she was doing. And you won't believe, now at least she has a break for the Varnam. So when we sat, I, we went in at 6. So uh, the Mrs. Padma had told me that she would have a rehearsal. Please come and see what she has to perform. And uh, the art form and you can meet the teacher and what you have to say and all that. I said, okay, I'll add in my points. And we were there 6, sharp, 8.30, it was done. Two and a half hours completely, continuously, she went on and on and on like this. That is something which is, uh, I think whoever knows uh, Hamsa as a child or who, who have seen her as a baby, the point of view they will have or the perception henceforth will be totally different going forward this year, this today. So it is definitely a step forward for her. Thank you so much. I would request all the guests on stage and the audience, please you can have, uh, we have uh, refreshments waiting for you. Take a break, you can have refreshments and come back again for the second segment of the dance recital. Yeah, thank you so much.
चिन्हम चिर के लिए Thank you.
loves the tilana the reason being tilana is i don't know if uh, it's connected with mathematics where you have to comprehend and you have to do very difficult combinations or mathematical you know strategize where which talam which what falls and it's only swaras and only it's only uh, there is no words nothing there the composition is very simple it's only swaras and you sing and according to the talam it's extremely how would you say uh, exhilarating and very stimulating and uh, it shows the footwork or the speed and the agility of the dancer how well they are able to do it it's basically that so let's enjoy the last piece of this uh, bharatanatya arangetram of hamsa with a beautiful tilana thank you so much
Oh, 
Thank you, thank you so much. You've been a very lovely audience for being here throughout and supporting Hamsa. Can I have our parents on stage? Please uh, say thanks to your audience and uh, we can complete this event today. First of all, uh, thank you very much. It's a great uh, pleasure to see all of you here. Uh, first of all, I should uh, thank you on each one of you uh, taking time off and uh, uh, coming and witnessing this uh, my daughter Sarangetram, thanks a lot for all those things. This uh, Arangetram project has been going on for a long time, almost close to 
a year or so. It's uh, continuous hard work, a uh, lot of effort has been put in by my daughter and of course the uh, dance guru, Ms. Meenakshi ma'am. And uh, they have been uh, training hard for the last three months, continuously for the last two hours daily. And that's the effort they are putting. So, thank, thanks a lot again ma'am for uh, making uh, Amsa as a dancer as she is now. And of course, I should thank the, the other orchestra group members as well. Mr. Srini, sir, in uh, Marindangam. <laughs> Mr. Rameshan, of the violin. And flute by Mr. Shanar. Thanks a lot, sir. You have been with us for the last one week, supporting her and making this event a really a memorable one for all of us. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Her guru actually wants to give her something special, some uh, beautiful memory for this day. It is, it's overwhelming, but I think the one thing I do feel right now is gratitude. It's, uh, it's been months and months of hard work. A lot of effort's gone into this, but not just me, but a lot of people here on the stage as well. It's been behind the scenes a lot of effort. I think more than me just going to class for like two hours, other people have put in way more effort um, into this to getting this together and it's ended like so beautifully and I'm just so grateful for that. So I do have to mention first of course I have to thank God and Natraja, Krishna, I have to thank um, because without them, without their blessings, this Arangetram wouldn't have even happened actually. Um, no. There were like some setbacks obviously, you don't get everything the first day but they gave me the inner motivation to like you know keep going, you know push, push my limits and you know expand and do better than my dance. And of course, I think the way they blessed me is by giving me Meenakshi Ma'am as my guru. I cannot ask for a better guru as a dance teacher. Not as just a uh, dance teacher, she's uh, inspired me as a person because, you know, regardless of what was happening in, like, you know, personal background life, she would always come to class, always sit there with a smile on her face. Ma'am would always just, you know, she would be always focused on that, you know. She would feel better if you dance well. So she would always motivate me to, like, keep going. She needs her as well, you know, every day. <laughs> Like, they did give me like the motivation to push through, but also as well, it wasn't so serious. They showed me how to be committed to, you know, my art form because they were just so dedicated to like, you know, getting this performance right. And the rest of the orchestra as well, thank you so much. It's been an honor to perform for you all. Um, to, you know, work with such amazing reputed musicians. Thank you so much for playing for Marangetram. Uh, I also have to thank my family over right? here. Amazing guys. Um, as I said, mom's been like, you know, going all over the place trying to get this right. Uh, and I think the way I can repay them is just by hoping I made them proud with this performance. Uh, I hope I have done justice to whatever effort um, they put in and, you know, I hope that they can, like, they're happy with what I have done. And of course, it's, uh, I have to thank you as well, the audience. It's a Thursday, it's a weekday, but you've come to see my Arangetram and that's just such an honor. And so um, grateful that you've taken time out of your day, out of your week, to come and see me dance. So I hope that it's made some kind of impact. I hope that, you know, you can walk away thinking that, yeah, you know, it was worth my time. So I hope <laughs> that that was um, your reaction. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and I hope you, can you please just give a big round of applause to everyone over here? Um, Everyone, the whole team, MC, Gayatri Auntie, and backstage as well, all the aunties. Um, also, Roy Uncle backstage as well, he's been like taking care of me as well. The makeup, dress, you know, giving me water when I needed, you know, handing because there's no easy girl. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So, thank you so much for coming once again. So, thank you so much, uh, uh, Amsa, that was very nice. So, I hope you understood what she was trying to say, is thanking everyone. Uh, and it has taken a lot of effort, yeah, physically, mentally, everyone here. Or not only on stage, some people who don't see here on stage and also the audience, thank you so much for the entire being here and encouraging her uh, throughout her program. Thanks everyone, each and every one of you. Right? It's been very special having you all here and it's a very special day for us. I got the Arangetram. From now on, it's going to be performances. This Arangetram is the first, right? Um, thanks to Matajis, uh, both Matajis, both the Prabhus. Uh, it's been a real honor having you both, both the families here and you know, each and every one from uh, official family. Uh, people have flown in for this, uh, they've changed their holiday plans for this. 
uh, uh, you know, it's just been amazing. I cannot, uh, you know, thank people enough. Uh, plus, of course, Gayatri, starting from her, you know, she has been adjusting her timings to come and uh, help compare. And uh, Meenakshi ma'am has been an inspiration, right? Truly, she's been facing many things, but uh, she set a very good example for my daughter. Uh, she's just taught her that she has to be on the go, irrespective of what happens in your life, right? So that's an amazing example. Thank you, ma'am. And thank you to all the gurus, right? Shrinisa, I think you brought that humor element and, uh, you know, whenever things got too serious, you put Hamza back on track. Thank you, sir. And thank you, Shinoi, sir, and uh, Nimi, sir. Uh, it's been an honor, really, having a whole team, you know, supporting our daughter. Thank you so much. And to, of course, uh, Mr. Anil and team, Mr. Roy and team, uh, you know, to uh, Ruhail who's up there, to including the likes, whom no, no one can see. Yeah, so thanks everyone. Thank you so much everyone. Thank you so much for everyone for coming. It's been a huge encouragement for Hamsa, I'm sure, for taking the time off. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you Hamsa for the fantastic performance. I have not seen this before, by the way. This is my first time, so yeah.